when the Department of Justice and Jack Smith, FBI, Christopher Wray, Merrick Garland get busted by Trump and thrown in jail and your friends say, oh, that's the politicization of government. You're going to send them this video link as evidence that Jack Smith should be in jail if there is any justice at all. I'm Doug Tenapel. This is the Doug Tenapel channel. Welcome to Exile. Is Hunter Biden's guilty plea in the federal tax case vindication? Yeah, I absolutely believe so. I mean, he pled straight up to what was in the indictment. To, to see the risk that Joe and I took, you know, to buck that bureaucracy, which is the IRS, and to go directly against the Department of Justice and indirectly the White House, it was validation, it was vindication, and, and I'm, I wouldn't have changed anything. Hunter, they're whistleblowers on the IRS. If the IRS was not prosecuting Hunter Biden, uh, both of them had their career threatened, their reputation destroyed by the Department of Justice, dragging their feet. And then finally, Hunter Biden ends up admitting to everything that they accused him of. They were right and media lied and the administration lied about Hunter Biden's laptop. This is the first joint interview with IRS whistleblowers Gary Shapley and Joseph Ziegler. Well, Joseph Ziegler, that guy's just some Trump guy, right? No, he's a gay Democrat FBI agent who's a whistleblower. And they tried to destroy his career going after him because he told the truth. Again, remember that when your friends say Trump said he'd be a dictator on day one, and then when he gets into office, he prosecutes Jack Smith. He prosecutes Chutkin for what we're going to describe what she did. They go after Merrick Garland. Remember, they have it coming. They threw the first punch. Trump going back and, ta and, and uh, taking them back to court is at best a, a counterpunch move to what they already did. Hunter Biden pleaded guilty in September to felony and misdemeanor tax charges. This internal IRS email exclusively shared with our investigative team shocked the whistleblowers. When you received this email from your IRS supervisor after Hunter Biden's guilty plea, calling it a great conviction, what was your response? I, I honestly couldn't believe that it happened. I literally... That's their boss praising the Catherine Harridge and everyone else's work on busting Hunter Biden and the whole investigation. But that same boss was the one trying to get these two fired when they ran the same investigation. First person I called was Gary and I'm like, can, can you believe that this was sent? Those are words that are not supported by the actions of the agency. Thank you for your commitment to the mission, which culminated in a great conviction. I almost see you rolling your eyes as I read this. Now you're shaking your head. Yeah, this, this to me was someone who knows that IRS watchdog right now is looking into the way that they've handled this and they, and they see the writing on the wall. Yeah, guess who's coming to town to clean everything up? Uh, Department of Government Efficiency, Elon Musk. They're going to gut one third of government. And just remember these gentlemen who were oppressed by a ton of the upper brass out at the IRS, when they got one third of those jobs, starting with the head of every one of these government institutions, and they come out crying, going, Trump's a dictator. Remember this, they did what was dictatorial first, the head of the IRS, the head of the FBI. They were dictators. Now they're getting fired. Firing a dictator is not being a dictator. And this, this really is an example of just covering their backside true like a true bureaucracy shapley and ziegler walked us through hundreds of now public tax records they zeroed in on alleged double standards at the irs okay so now comes the double standards okay so how is hunter biden and his laptop traded in 2020 by all government agencies when they said hey 30 60 90 days before an election you can't conduct this investigation it's too you're going to interfere with an, an investigation now we're going to compare that to Jack Smith and Chutkin. I recently had an a internal attorney for IRS come to me and, and, and say that the way that the process is set up, it almost creates this preferential treatment for these elite and, and, and large companies because you know ju when it was Hunter Biden, it required additional approvals for every single thing that we did. Meanwhile, the local businessman I don't need any uh, special permissions. I just go and do the, the investigation. What you're saying is that within the IRS, there is disparate treatment of American taxpayers.
I'll go farther. They're even worse on Trump. Look what they did uh, on Trump's business dealings at the court level. So not only are the agents free to go with a normal person's business, but they're actually instructed to be meaner, harder, more forceful when they go after Trump, when they go after pro-life Catholics, pro-life Christians, when they go after 501c3 tax status organizations that are at all evangelical. That's when you see the IRS double standards. If you're an Obama daughter, if you're a Hunter daughter, son, you get off the hook. Everyone else, you go to prison. What, what they call it is sensitive investigations. But sensitive investigation sounds like code for powerful elite people. There's a list in the Internal Revenue Manual that says what a sensitive person is. And it's exactly that, politicians, uh, you know, CEOs of companies, uh, high net worth individuals, and then it requires countless additional approvals to work that investigation. Sensitive just means rich and powerful. That's a two-tiered justice system. Trump's got to abolish that thing. Elon Musk has to abolish that thing. And all your Democrat friends are going to be crying. How can he be so mean and unfair? He doesn't help protect the rich and the powerful like the Biden administration does and the Obamas and the Clintons. Tear it all down, Trump. The IRS whistleblowers went further alleging a double standard for political campaigns under the Biden-Harris Justice Department. I wanted to get your reaction to this recent filing by special counsel Jack Smith. Jack Smith, ah, the villain finally shows up to this episode. It's 165 pages, allegations against former President Trump, who's also a presidential candidate. And this was made public just a month before the election. Compared to what happened in our investigation, there were a lot of overt investigative steps that we were not allowed to take because we had an upcoming election. And Chutkin knew that when she released that Jack Smith information, she knew it was unprecedented. She knew it was on shaky ground. She said, but I'll do it anyways. <laughs> Obama appointed me. <laughs> That's all you have to say. And it related to the president's son. So not even the candidate. And we weren't allowed to do certain investigative steps. So think of it. Biden was protecting Hunter and Hunter wasn't even the candidate running for office. It was Biden running for office. They knew that if they released this, uh, this news about his son and America said that it would affect the election. It certainly would affect Biden appointing Blinken and Blinken's name is all over the inside of Hunter Biden's laptop. These people are scum. And the media covered up for him, your Democrat friends covered up for him, Kamala Harris covered up for him, and then they oppressed us saying we were crazy for covering up for Russian disinformation. These friends, uh, they require a lot of grace, I'll put it, and tolerance. This filing by Jack Smith in the Trump case would never have happened if the names were swapped and it was Hunter Biden. Based on what we saw in the Hunter Biden case, that document would have never been released four weeks before an election. That's the best chance that Trump has right now to make all these lawsuits go away. He just needs to put involve Hunter Biden in some way in his business dealings and they'll all vanish. Everyone remember that. If you want to commit a crime, do it with Hunter Biden because you'll get away with it. You're talking about a double standard in the Justice Department. Department of Justice created a precedent as it relates to inv ongoing investigations and elections in the Hunter Biden case. And if they don't follow that precedence and they do something much more aggressive, then it's clear to me that there's some type of double standard. Yeah, oh yeah, everyone should know there's a double standard by now. If that's news to you, that they go after Trump and give a free pass to Chutkin and Jack Smith, I'm sorry, but you're just, you're so naive. You're the ones that think MSNBC and CNN are reporting the news, okay. Four years ago this month and three weeks before the presidential election, Hunter Biden's laptop, a key piece of evidence in the IRS tax case, was wrongly labeled Russian disinformation. In our investigation, we knew that the, the laptop was real. DOJ knew that the laptop was real. I remember Al Sharpton, I did a er video earlier today where he was saying that the New York Post should be prosecuted back in 2020. He said it. He wanted them to be prosecuted and criminally charged for posting that article. This is why you can't let Democrats win. They want free speech. They would run all of us into jail for speaking against this truth. FBI knew the laptop was real. Yes. Based on the notes of this October 2020 meeting, the FBI and IRS, when did they know the laptop was real? 
It was many months before October 2020. We were confirming certain aspects of it that it was that it was real and legitimate as far back as late 2019. When the FBI and the IRS complain about Trump and Elon Musk gutting them and reforming them, send them this video. You have my permission. I'm Doug in exile. Why was the Hunter Biden laptop reporting suppressed in October of 2020? There was various reporting of people saying that it's potentially Russian disinformation. And one of those people is the, the, the current Secretary of State. His name was in a lot of the emails that were turned over to the House Ways and Means Committee that were on Hunter Biden's laptop. There's, there's definitely a conflict of interest there. In October 2020, Antony Blinken was a longtime aide to then-candidate Joe Biden. 